Hey guys, welcome to week six. I know week five was a fucking disaster. I'm sorry, I went one and four, and that usually doesn't happen. I'm usually above 500 by at least a game, if not a couple more, depending on what I give you. Um, anyway, water under the bridge last week, and as you can see, I've already apologized profusely. I hope you guys uh, sincerely took that as a nice apology. Um, Lindsay Lohan taught me how to do that. It, it works very effectively. Anyhow... My lock around the clock is about to start, and I have no more time to talk about last week. This week here, I'm going to give you my little bit of lock, all right? You're going to get a little lock. This is a well-known lock. This is a lock that I can't even tell you why it's a lock, why it's going to happen, but guess what? you got to play this as if the game has already been played. you got to imagine that this game is such a lock. I would. N this is my game of the year, people. Game of the year. Not game of the week. Game of the week, definitely, but game of the year. I am strongly advising you, all seriousness aside, please go with this game. This is a game that I, 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 am, I love it. I am all over it, and you should be too. Trust me on this one. I am not fooling around. My 1 o'clock lock is going to be the St. Louis Rams against the San Diego Chargers, okay? They're getting eight points. I think I went to seven and a half, but either way, they're getting a ton of points. From a team that's really not all that good, as the Raiders have beat both of these teams, which means they both have issues. Um, but St. Louis coming off the loss last week to Detroit. Uh, yes, they lost Mark Clayton. Um, but, however, i got to believe that this team here, honestly, is going to thrive. Uh, Steven Jackson, the defense is very good. They play well at home. Uh, they had a little problem on the road last week in Detroit. And Detroit's really not much of a slouch. This game is a game you got to take. You take the St. Louis Rams and take the points. San Diego, let's put it this way, um, they got beat up physically last week. And it's a tough game this week. They're on the road. Take the St. Louis Rams. I can't explain why it's a lock or why you're going to win it. It's kind of like when you get behind that shit Brindle Brown Delta 88 from 1992. And the, you know, it's got the rusted bumper with the bumper stickers on it saying he has some sort of kid that's going to school somewhere. And the windows are all smoked out. And I'm not talking tinted. I'm talking three packs of Marlboro Reds smoked out with like stuffed animals across the back. And he's in that one lane highway that's like a 55 zone. And he's doing 20 and you're stuck behind them because there's trucks and traffic coming the other way. And you're just hoping and praying to God there's a fucking Walmart coming up because you know he's going to turn in there. Just bet the Rams take the points. That's my 1 o'clock lock. 4 o'clock lock, we're getting on top of the team that lost Monday night. Yes, Minnesota. And why am I taking Minnesota? Because Dallas is even freaking worse. Yes, they have an offense. But guess what? It's just not going anywhere. They don't have a steady running back. Marion the Barbarian is not really doing anything. He's not their main guy. He's kind of a slug. Um, other than Austin Miles, they, you know, Roy Williams caught a few. Romo's putting up some good numbers if you're a fantasy player and you got them. But other than that, defensively, they suck. They are horrible. And Minnesota, believe it or not, is a good bounce-back team. I think they offensively, they got the much better team. They're going to be able to outproduce uh, Dallas in points. And Minnesota's defense is really not that bad. I think they're going to give uh, some problems to the Dallas Cowboys. Anyway, Minnesota's only laying two. Feel in Minnesota, take Minnesota, that's the 4 o'clock lock. Now, going on to my 8 o'clock lock. The big day, the big game, the game that you can't wait all day Sunday because you got to wait for Sunday night, okay? Um, Colts, Redskins. Who do you take? Colts are on the road, Redskins at home, FedEx Field, Hooters. 
I know it looks like you should take them. They're hot. They're leading the division. McNabb, whatever. Peyton Manning and the Colts, they're a little dinged up right now, but they're still a much better team. Uh, Running-wise, Peyton Manning, I'll take him any day over Donovan McNabb. Um, Receiver-wise, running back-wise, much more solid. Uh, defensively, the Colts have a much better defense. And guess what they also have coming up next week? Bye-bye. Yes, yeah, a bye week. I'm going into the bye week. The Colts are statistically one of the toughest teams. And guess what? They're in a tight race now in their division at 3-2. and two. Um, They need to go into this bye week and get healthy. And they need a win to go in with. And Peyton Manning is the kind of guy that should produce. I mean, let's put it this way. The last two weeks, he really hasn't produced much through the air. Uh, very on Peyton Manning-like. But this week, I think they're going to have an opportunity to do so. Like I said, the Redskins are not the toughest team uh, on either side of the ball. And I definitely look for the Colts to come out of this one. The winners, they're only laying three. Look for them to win by 10 points or more and cover this game. So that's my lock around the clock for this week. 1 o'clock lock, St. Louis Rams plus the points. 4 o'clock lock, Minnesota minus the points. 8 o'clock lock, the Colts minus the points. Take it east. Take it to the bank. You take it east.